Hello everybody and welcome back to Starbricks. Today I'm here with my newest mock which is an ATRT. Now this mock is to scale with a minifigure and it took a lot of work to get this design just right. Now ever since I decided to start building Star Wars Legos I've wanted to do a really good design for this. This is actually my third iteration. Now, the reason that I love this one is because the way the legs work, and also the way the person sits on the ATRT. They don't actually sit on the studs, but they sit by grabbing the handlebars. Now, I also like these legs because they can turn around, making it look more like the real thing, and making it the perfect scale. In order for it to stand up, you have to bend the hinges on the feet a little bit. But we'll talk more about that later. Right now, let's go ahead and take a look at another model that I have. This one is actually almost the exact same as the last one, except instead of being dark red, this one is light green. Now, you can see I also fold this one up because it is foldable. The reason I designed this is to go in the back of an ATE. As you can see, I represented the hinges with little caps, you might call, and the middle toe is a claw or toothpiece. Now let's move on to the gun. It's made up of a binoculars piece, a 4L bar, a small pin, and a small fire nozzle. Together, this clips on and makes a fairly accurate representation. Now let's take a look at the four main parts. This is the back section. As you can see, it has a lever, a light, a few different functions. This is where the person would sit, and it has a few antennas as well. Now these are the legs. This is the part that is turned, and these are the hinges, as I was speaking about earlier. And the toes can spread out depending on what terrain. It's very movable as well, and it doesn't take many pieces. Of course, this one's just the same, just on the opposite side. And finally, we have the front, which is definitely the hardest part of an ATR's design, because it slopes on multiple angles. However, I think I achieved this within my reasonable limits. Most of those limits are scale. Now, you don't have to have the light there, but oops. Oh, I do like the light there. And as you can see, there's also handlebars for the person to grab on. So now let's take a look back at the first model, which is the red one. As you can see, I have this in more of an action pose now because it is so very poseable. So we can just put its feet down. You can see the nice gear at the base of the antenna. And you can see the person sitting on there just grips onto the things and they can just barely see over the armor. So now let's just stand this guy up for a final time. As you can see, he lifts up and down and if you bounce it just right, you'll actually stand there. You don't need much support at all. You can even put him in several action poses, which is probably my favorite part about this. But let's just go ahead and fold this guy up. As you see, the legs just come right in, and it kind of leans back, and that's it. It folds up really easily. And now we have both of them together. And this is the part that we all enjoy so much, where I get to tell you that you can use this mock. I'm going to leave parts list in the description. I'm even going to make an instructions video because I want you guys to use this. I believe this is easily one of the most advanced ATRTs in this scale, and I hope you enjoy it. Just remember to give me credit if you do use it. And thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified when the instructions video comes out. This has been Starbreaks.